This is for all those people that keep asking me about my feelings. So when I was a kid, I didn't really go to the dentist. And then I eventually went as like a teenager. And when I went as a teenager, I had two, four, six, eight cavities. And they were pretty expensive, which meant that I had to have fillings not only in the top, they had to drill out the side and also I, you can't see because of my bracket a little bit. But those are in fact silver fillings, not cavities, as some people mistake them for, which is crazy to me. And then as an adult, the dentist wanted to replace some of them. He didn't really give me a reason. <laughs> wanted to replace some of them and I didn't realize what a big difference it would make cosmetically. But he replaced the two, four on the top. And he when he replaced those now, you cannot even see those like at all. They just like blend in with my tooth or my teeth. <laughs> and so I'm not even gonna show you those. You really can't, I don't think I have a light that you could really see. But anyway, and then I, it was such a big deal whenever I got those top ones replaced, they didn't drill them down exactly right at first. And so it kept feeling like I was biting down on a stone, which was extremely irritating. So I would, you would bite down on this paper and it would show where you're biting hard at. And then... I I just went back like two or three times till they finally got them drilled down to where it felt like I was biting normal again. But after that experience, I decided there was absolutely no way that I was going to go get the bottom ones done because it was just such a pain, like feeling like I was biting down on a rock all the time. So, it had never even crossed my mind to get the bottom ones changed to like the porcelain or whatever the material is because like I said, it was irritating. But then after one of, one of my first videos, people were thinking that I had cavities and that the orthodontist would actually put on braces with cavities, which is craziness. But now, I'm thinking maybe I will go get those fixed now as soon as my braces come off. I would get them fixed now, but I don't have my last four brackets on yet. But if I went to get them fixed, I would only be able to get the last. I don't have a bracket on those yet. So I could get the very last teeth fixed, but I wouldn't be able to get the ones in front of those, the other two. So I'm just going to have to keep making videos and keep having silver teeth in them every time I... Which if you look and people look closely, they could see that they're shiny. They're not just black holes. I'm not just over here. Showing off my cavities, like, hey guys, I'm not gonna mention it, but oh, look at all these dead teeth. That's crazy. Other than that, I've never really had any kind of other um, dental history, like any kind of work. Like, my teeth were always straight when I was growing up. And I've only had braces on three weeks. They were always straight until my wisdom teeth came in. And then when my wisdom teeth came in, it made those two cross. And so now I'm just trying to sorry, I can't talk. I'm putting on my makeup. 
I'm trying to concentrate. But I did not want to get my wisdom teeth taken out because they told me that if I get my wisdom teeth taken out, it's going to make my face feel like numb and tingly forever because these ones down here are like wrapped up in a nerve. And so I kept going to the oral surgeon like through the years for like the consult or whatever. And then I kept chickening out of actually going through with getting the work done because I didn't want my face to be numb forever. And so I just thought like, I'm never gonna be able to get braces because I'll never ever go get those wisdom teeth pulled. Well then when I took one of my children to the orthodontist, they told me that I do not have to get the bottom wisdom teeth out. These teeth aren't really that bad. And that I could just get my top ones pulled because my top teeth were fully exposed. So I told them that my dentist wanted me to get it done by the oral surgeon, even the top ones, because if he ran into a problem there, I'd be awake, like if he couldn't get them out. But the, the, um, the orthodontist said that he thought that the dentist should be able to pull them and said that he would call my dentist on the phone. So he said that he, like while I was there, he said, I'll be right back, I'm gonna go call your dentist. So, give me one second. It's hard to talk while you put eyeliner on. So he, he literally went right out the door. Somehow he got my dentist on the phone right away. I guess that when doctors are talking to their doctors, they just stop what they're doing and answer the phone, which is crazy. Cause you know, when we call them, they never answer ever. Like they could never actually get them on the phone, you know, but anyway, so he comes back in and he says that my dentist said that he'll pull my teeth. And I'm like, what? And so then it came down to if you go get your wisdom teeth pulled by your dentist in office, you can get braces. And I was like, oh my God, I would have got braces so long ago had I known. So I literally just went and made an appointment and I got my wisdom teeth pulled like literally just like a few weeks later. And they only made me wait about like a week and a half to get my braces after that. Like as long as everything was healing properly, they said they could put my braces on. So like right after I got my wisdom teeth out, I went down to Gulf Shores for vacation for three weeks. So I made an appointment and came back halfway through my vacation so that I could get my braces on. And so as of now, like the only work I've ever had is I've had those eight fillings when I was like a kid. And then I had these up here replaced with the porcelain color. And then I have my braces fit on. So that's my dental history for you guys that have been asking.